Hey guys, my name is Jade. I'm 22 years old and I'm a full-time content creator with a few businesses. Before we jump into how I make money, let's make a matcha first. So I wanna share my different income streams because I found this photo the other day and it's a photo of me at 18 years old talking about my different income stream. It's crazy because at that point I was still living at my parents' house. I just dropped out of high school and I was also running a business during COVID times. So like a lot has changed. Like I was so financially uncertain. And three years later, now I'm 22 years old and I moved to LA with my own money. I have a few different businesses as a creator that support me and my lifestyle got more expensive so I had to find a way to add more income streams and pivot during these difficult times. So hopefully this inspires you guys to accomplish your dreams and to know that anything's possible. And if you have been with me since I was 18, comment below Dharma Nation because I wanna see y'all in the comments. Thank you so much for supporting me because seriously, I wouldn't be here without y'all. All right, my first income stream, and this is actually the main difference from when I was 18 to now, is brand deals. So when I was 18, I was still doing YouTube, but I wasn't for some reason attracting big brand deals. I actually don't know why. To be honest, I think it's because now the content's more focused around my lifestyle and me as a surfer, a creator. If you guys don't know, I make surfing TikToks. Okay, you can check it out here. And I think that attracted lifestyle-oriented brands that cared about my personality versus what I talked about. Long story short, brand deals are a huge part of my business. They're around 40% of my income. For those who don't know, a brand deal is basically when you make a video for a brand to either use on their accounts or for you to post it on your accounts. Some of my notable brand deals I've worked with in the past few years is Red Bull, I've worked with Canon, Jolin. I've worked with a few software tech brands like Shopify, Tone. So that's just an example of the brands I worked with and I'm so grateful. You might be wondering, Jade, how much money do you really make from brand deals? Like how much money we're talking about? So I thought it'd be helpful to share some metrics because I know a lot of you guys are creators and you might not know what to charge. So hopefully this will kind of give you as a reference of what's possible. So I'm not able to say the exact brand I work with because of non-disclosure, but I have around 400,000 followers on TikTok. I usually charge anywhere from four to 5K per post. So it just depends. It obviously depends if it's a startup versus a big conglomerate company. I am really fortunate where a lot of the brands I work with also work with me long term. So I don't also just get like, hey, make a brand deal. Sometimes brands ask me to be like, hey, can you make content on my page? Or hey, can you help consult on my TikTok? So I've built relationships with these brands, which kind of goes into my second income stream, which is consulting. I do consulting for brands I usually work with already. So for example, with Red Bull, I have done content for them. They've also hired me as a consultant. One example is last month, I went to Austria to teach some of Red Bull athletes how to build a personal brand. That was super fun. I got to go to the headquarters and meet the team. It was actually so surreal. I actually have a vlog about it if you guys want to watch it. Go check it out. Another example is sometimes I get paid to speak internally to teams. So for example, if a marketing company needs help with their strategy, I can come on as an external consultant and kind of help them walk through their TikTok strategy. Because I'm a both creator and I have marketing background, I am able to do consulting, which is probably I would say another 20, 30% of my business. And you might be wondering how much money do you really make from this Jade? And again, I'm just saying these numbers not to flex on y'all because that's not my vibe. It's just to help you guys have a reference because I know Charlie Charging money as a freelancer or creator is difficult, okay? So typical speaking rate really varies, but I charge normally 10K per speaking engagement. All right, my third income stream is agency work. So if you guys don't know, I have an agency called X8 Media. We help brands with their YouTube and TikTok strategy. So whether that's making content for brands, finding influencers for them, managing their social pages, me and my team basically do it all in that realm. And a lot of the brands I work with are tech slash crypto brands, just because that's what I'm personally interested in. But I've worked with so many different brands in the past. I worked with like food companies, I've worked with apparel, fashion, e-commerce. But I would say agency work as of right now is not a huge focus. I mainly get 15 to 20% of my income from agency work. And usually I just charge a retainer either seven to 10K a month. It really depends on the project, but 
I don't do it as much. And I think it's mainly because I'm trying to focus more on my personal brand and agency work can be very tiring. I've had really like traumatizing stories where I am supposed to run ads for a client and the client gets like mad at me because the results aren't fast enough, but I work well under pressure, okay? So like this client's like yelling at me. We're like, Jade, you're spending so much money on ads. It's not working. I'm like, yo, chill. We're gonna get through this, be patient. And like, I come out the other end and get like the best results for the client. The thing is like that whole arc is really good because I learn a lot, like, but the problem is it's very stressful and I have to like literally recuperate for like three months after the project because it was so stressful. All right, my fourth income stream is modeling. I can't believe I'm saying this because modeling is something that I never thought I would be able to do professionally. I used to be very insecure about my body. I had an eating disorder. I kind of still have problems with that sometimes, but I have a therapist now and I like how we're getting super deep right now. You guys are knowing me on a very deep level. I just feel like modeling for me was very scary, but I was always interested in it. Like I love being in front of the camera. Because I got into surfing, I really got into modeling because I was more focused on getting strong to surf versus trying to get like, aesthetically hot you know what i mean like i wasn't trying to be skinny i was trying to be strong and that really helped me just enjoy my body be more confident and start to model and um one of my first modeling gigs was like a sports athletic brand called handful now i do modeling for a lot of surf bikini swimmer brands uh like jolin i've done stuff for red bull so yeah your girl's a model now i guess but i don't do that often i usually would say modeling is less than five percent of my income but I love it, so I try to do it as much as I can. If you're wondering, for modeling, I charge a day rate of around $1,000 per day. It really depends on the project, but yeah, I like modeling, it's cool. And if you have a brand that's related to surf or swimming, let me know, because I love to model for you. All right, my fifth income stream is the TikTok AdSense and YouTube AdSense. So this is less than 5% of my income, but AdSense is essentially when you earn money through the platform itself for making content. So YouTube pays creators based on how many views they get. Same with TikTok. But to be honest, over the past few years, my AdSense income has gone down because I get less views than I did five years ago. And it's just because I focus more on making content that I like versus trending content, which for me, I'm, I'm okay with. Um, I would say AdSense is less than like 3% of my business. It used to be a lot more, so that's why I, I still add it as an income stream because it just depends on the time period I'm in. Usually for a million viewed video on YouTube, I get around three to 5K from that. But if you guys look at my channel, I don't get those kind of views anymore, so. But on TikTok, I usually get around 100 to $200 a month from posting. All right, my final income stream is six, speaking. I speak at different events, whether it's at VidCon, which I've done before. I spoke at actually at two VidCons so far, and I'm also speaking at VidCon this year, which is so crazy to say. Um, I've been speaking internally for companies like Adobe. So as a speaker, I usually talk about social media, my story as a high school dropout, making money as a young entrepreneur. For speaking, I usually charge similar to consulting 10K per project, but I don't get it as often. Usually I get it like twice a year. Hopefully in the next two or three years, I really, really, really just want to double down on doing more speaking engagements. So I actually kind of need help. If you guys are experienced with like getting a speaking agent, comment below if you guys have any recommendations who I should talk to because I really need a booking agent. Like I, I really do because I've, I've been managing my own deals since I was a kid. So I would love help on that. But anyways, yeah, those are my six different income streams. You guys now know everything I'm up to, hopefully. Um, hopefully you're confused <laughs> what Jade's up to, but I wouldn't be surprised if you still are. <laughs> Comment below if this was helpful, if you guys have any questions when it comes to getting started with these income streams. I am so thankful that you guys have stayed with me for this long. When I was first starting YouTube, I didn't have six income streams, right? I didn't even have any income streams. My first paycheck was from YouTube paying me $100 for a YouTube video I made, and that was the start of it, right? So really you just remember when you're first starting your career or even if you are more established, just like focus on one thing at a time. And over time, you'll be able to diversify your income and have different ways to make money. In the beginning, just start small. I love you guys so much, Darmination. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and follow my TikTok because if you haven't already, you should. Bye guys, I love you.